Peanut. Hazelnut. Cashew nut. Macadamia nut. That was the one that was sent her <laughs> into a going crazy. The internet's full of fascinating facts, from YouTube channels to podcasts to social media accounts to whole websites dedicated to peddling out fun but useless trivia. Fun facts have really made themselves one of the core foundations that the internet is based on. This is all well and good, however there is a bit of an issue. It seems that internet trivia is almost at breaking point. There's only so many fun nuggets of information to go around, and the beast that is the internet requires constant content. This means that sometimes the same facts crop up over and over again on different parts of the world wide web. And as someone of a keen interest in facts, reading and seeing the same ones over and over can get a little tiresome. If I have to hear that the unicorn is the national animal of Scotland, or that Super Mario Bros 2 is just a reskin of the Japanese game Doki Doki, you panic one more time, I swear I'm going to flip. These two pieces of information pale in comparison, however, to what I feel is the most overused fact that the internet has ever spewed out. That fact involves a certain beloved foodstuff, the peanut. If you are anything like myself, I'm sure you've heard this one before, but um, did you know that peanuts are not actually nuts? Yes. Yes, I did know that Peanut's not actually nuts, and by now, it seems that pretty much everyone knows this little piece of information. Though, for some reason, you may not fall into the category of pretty much everyone, and that's completely cool. We all have to hear this fact for the first time, so it's an honour if I was the first one to tell it to you. You're officially a citizen of the internet now, well done. So if Peanuts are not a nut, then what actually are they? Peanuts are something called legumes, with legumes being defined as plants that produce pods with seeds inside them. Other legumes include the likes of lentils, chickpeas and regular peas. While we aren't sure where the word legume comes from, one idea is that it derives from the Latin legere, meaning to gather, as legumes are often gathered together and eaten in large quantities. You never really just eat one lentil or one peanut or one chickpea. Interestingly enough, this Latin word gave us the word lecture too, as lectures involve gathering of students. Now I'm just imagining a lecture hall full of peanuts. I wonder what they're studying. We, we, we best leave them to it. Peanuts are not alone in all this, however. There are many other things that we have dubbed nuts that simply are not nuts. Take almonds an example. Many people happily call an almond a nut, but it ain't. An almond is actually something known as a droop, a droop seed specifically. A droop seed is the hard inner seed found within a fleshy fruit. Think like a peach's stone or a coconut. Almonds are actually found within a fruit too. We just don't really eat this fruit on a large scale. So many of what we call nuts are actually droops. Walnuts, Brazil nuts, pistachios and pecans are many of the things that we call nuts that are actually droops. As for where the name droop comes from, it seems to originate from the Greek term of dripa, meaning tree ripened. Cashews are of particular interest too, as they're not actually nuts either, but instead grow from the bottom of an apple-like fruit. That was an awful lot of debunking we just undertook, and perhaps your entire life feels like a lie now. Apologies if that's the case. Maybe you're wondering to yourself, is anything actually a nut? And to that, I can thankfully say yes. Chestnuts as well as hazelnuts are both proper actual nuts, and no one will tell you otherwise. Macadamia are also seen as being genuine nuts too. However, some sources I found said otherwise. And acorns are actual nuts too. However, they're not eaten by us humans all too much these days. So, while that is a good selection of actual nuts, it seems there are way more things we call nuts that aren't actually nuts than things we call nuts that are actually nuts. How did we reach this point exactly? What makes certain nuts actual genuine nuts while other things we have dubbed nuts not real nuts? Well, I suppose a good place to start would be defining what exactly a nut is. A true, proper, actual, genuine nut is seen as something that is the plant, seed and fruit, which usually comes in some sort of hard casing and is usually a singular entity, unlike say peanuts which come in a pod of two usually. It seems one of the key ways in which we decide if we have an actual nut on our hands is if the shell does not naturally open once fully ripened. In example, the outer husk of a hazelnut does not seem to naturally open up, hence why it's considered a true nut. And also, as for where the word nut comes from, it seems to have derived from the latter word of nux, which relates to nucleus too, as I suppose it's the nucleus of the plants they grow into. Anyway, 
That definition of a nut I just gave you is the botanical definition of them. Botany is the branch of science that concerns itself with plant life. As nuts are part of the plant kingdom, it comes down to botanists to define what exactly a nut is and isn't. So when I've been referring to certain nuts as true actual nuts, it's nuts that fit this botanical definition I'm talking about. However, we have come to define nuts in a different way too. As well as there being a botanical definition of nuts, we have a culinary definition for nuts too. Culinary of course means relating to the kitchen slash cooking slash food in general. The world of cooking has given us the concept of the culinary nut, which is many of the previously mentioned not real nuts like peanuts and almonds. The Wikipedia definition for a culinary nut is a dry edible fruit that usually, but not always, has a high fat content. From here, I'm sure you can all start to understand why exactly so many things that aren't technically nuts have become known as nuts. Chefs are a lot more liberal with what they refer to as nuts than botanists are. The culinary world seems to have declared that anything that is smaller, beige and crunchy is a nut, much to the chagrin of botanists around the globe. However, they agree on some things, like the hazelnut example. They are seen as culinary nuts as well as botanical nuts. However, it's this culinary definition as to why so many nuts that aren't technically nuts have been branded as nuts. This is far from the only time the culinary world and botanical worlds have butted heads over what food should be called. Another great example is with tomatoes. Just like how a lot of fact peddlers like to say how peanuts aren't really nuts, another popular one is how tomatoes aren't really vegetables. This is of course true. Tomatoes are not vegetables despite how much we link them with veggies. They are instead fruit. This is of course another botanical definition versus culinary definition debate. From a scientific botanical point of view, tomatoes are definitely fruit. This is because they contain seeds and grow from a flower of their plant. However, from a culinary perspective, we do not treat tomatoes like other fruit. We don't just grab them straight from the bowl and take a bite. Instead, we tend to chop them up and add them to recipes, like we do with vegetables. Hence why from a culinary perspective, tomatoes are seen as vegetables. So with all that explained, is it really fair to be calling things like peanuts and pistachios and almonds nuts? Well, yes and no. Science has positioned itself very much as the be-all and end-all of matters like this. The scientific answer is seen by many as the correct and definitive answer. So if science claims that we should not be calling these things nuts, then I guess we should not be calling these things nuts. However, when it comes to names, I have one golden rule, and it's something I've said in previous videos too. Names only work if everyone agrees on them, and conversely, names don't really work if no one uses them. While textbooks might decree that these things should not be called nuts, if pretty much everyone is going to call them nuts, then textbooks can be damned. In the eyes of many, including myself, things like peanut, walnut, and Brazil nut will always be nuts, despite the fact that yes, that's not actually the case from my botanical perspective. Though I completely understand that calling these droops and legumes nuts might drive some people, well, nuts. Another interesting thing about the world of language and nuts is the various other meanings this word has taken on. Most noticeably, nuts has become a synonym for crazy. While by and large, nuts in this sense is used somewhat innocently most of the time and in a jovial manner, it's worth mentioning that nuts can be applied to someone of actual mental health issues, which really isn't too ideal. There's much better language that can be applied to mental health out there. Though, how did nuts come to have this meaning? Well, it relates to another meaning nuts has. Nut is a synonym for your head because heads and nuts are often similar in shape. The head is of course where the brain is stored, which is the part of the body that deals with our sanity and mental well-being. It's from here that nuts for heads and nuts for mental well-being come into play. Another term we use for crazy is off your head. And in a 1908 comic strip called Mutt and Jeff, this term of off your head was changed to be off your nut because as mentioned, heads and nuts seem to be one and the same. It was from here that off your nut was shortened to just nuts and alas, this food stuff was cemented to be linked with madness. Funnily enough, it's not the only food we use to describe someone's mental well-being. Bananas and crackers are both words that become used instead of crazy too, though perhaps we'll save those origins for another time. Nuts however have gone on to have even more meanings however, from being the name of a piece of metal a bolt screws into, to something we say in frustration. Though of course many people know about nuts most infamous other meaning, that being the use of nuts as the name for the male reproductive organ, which also extends to their produce. This part of the anatomy has been branded as nuts because, like with the head, they're similar in shape and size too this time around. It can also be seen as a fitting name as nuts are a kind of seed, 
and the produce of the male reproductive organ is often referred to as seed too sometimes. Apologies for being so selective with my wording here. YouTube might demonetize me for this part of the video and that really drives me nuts. But anyway, that's nuts in a nutshell. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Patron is vital to Name Explain, and donating just $2 a month allows you to enjoy ad free videos and bonus patron exclusive content. It also allows you to help choose what names get explained in upcoming videos, and it gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give Name Explain. And, uh, which is a nut, but it's also the name of the town. Pistachio nut, red pistachio nut, natural, all natural white pistachio nut. <laughs>